presented by Squarespace. What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today we're gonna be doing the official iPhone 6 Plus bend test. Now normally I wouldn't do a video like this but I woke up this morning and saw a number of reports claiming that the iPhone 6 Plus was bending inside of people's pockets. So I decided to pull mine out of my pocket. I'd been using it as my regular phone for the last couple of days and upon inspection I actually noticed a tiny little indentation towards the center of the device which kind of implies a little bit of a bend. Not much, nothing conclusive, but some of the images I've seen from other people show a far more significant bend, and the claims are that people are just using it in their front pocket, which normally wouldn't result in a bent aluminum phone. But in this particular case, we have such a large device, I could see this being a significant concern for people, so for the sake of science, Today, I'm gonna bend this iPhone 6 Plus to see how much force it actually takes to make this thing unusable or essentially bent in such a fashion that you would be pissed off as the owner of one of these devices. So without further ado, let's get into the iPhone 6 Plus bend test. So there you have it guys, unfortunate, but under the pressure of my hands, it does bend quite significantly, specifically around this portion here where the buttons were. My, my focus was more in the center portion, but it seems to be a weak point up here near the button cutouts. Uh, bottom line here is it's an aluminum phone. It is going to bend if you apply enough pressure like I just did. Now, will this happen in your front pocket? That probably depends on how tight your pants are and uh, how often you're wearing this in your pocket. Uh, I think it could. This, this was painful to do, but for the sake of science, to let you guys know if it's an actual possibility, it looks like it will be a possibility on the iPhone 6 Plus. Not necessarily the piece of information that you guys wanna receive as brand new owners of this device. It's probably not gonna be the most durable from that standpoint, but it's a huge footprint. Look at the footprint of that thing. This is a huge piece of aluminum and we all know that aluminum is incredibly malleable, but now we have actual evidence on camera, not just a picture of a bent phone after the fact. Yes, it bends under the force of my hand pressure, just pushing on it the aluminum bends, even with this robust piece of glass. It's time to see how Apple responds to this. If I get any updates, I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video. And quick reminder, I've got an extra iPhone, uh, regular iPhone 6 that I'm gonna be giving away shortly. So subscribe for that. Maybe this is enough information to push you in the direction of picking the 6 over the 6 Plus. Bigger footprint, bigger piece of aluminum, greater likelihood of it bending. There you have it, a little bit of proof right here on Unbox Therapy. Thanks for watching guys. This was painful, like I said before, but it's all for the sake of science so that you get a little bit more info about this investment that you're about to make. All right, catch you on the next episode, later. Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store for a free trial and 10% off. Visit squarespace.com slash unbox and enter offer code unbox at checkout. A better web starts with your website. Now get to it. Nothing must have